Hello everyone and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon and Strife Games and um... Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since I last played. Uh... Jeez, I can't actually remember where I left off. Let's uh, let's check my game history really fast. Uh... Oh! Okay, Mad Mad Melee. I just published it, got a... For the most part, eight across... I think it was eight scores across the board. Um... Pretty good. Not uh, not bad at all. Haven't even sold any units yet, so I'm gonna take the time here to uh, jump right into doing some training on some of my guys. Um, I need to keep improving your design because I think you. Yeah, I, I I'm I'm trying to get Drew to uh, be the lead, and uh, Angela, you can generate a game report for Mad Mad Melee. Uh, industry news, we just got word that Mad Mad Melee, which has recently released, uh, 500,000 in sales, first week, 727. Um, some of you guys did mention in the last, uh, in the comments of the previous episode, wow, what an enormous freaking mistake I made. Um, I, I, <sighs> it's really embarrassing. I gave, uh, I gave Mad Mad Melee, like, V4 graphics, but it was a medium game. And, uh, it wasn't heavy on graphics, so, like, that section of the game suffered, and I didn't notice it. I, I did notice whenever I was going through and, um, editing the video. So, uh, that was a massive mistake. Let's see if there's any sort of research that we can do. Uh, we've got plenty of research points. Let's research realistic weather, because I think that that'll help, uh, reasonably. And... Okay, industry, uh, one million in sales. Okay, no problem. Uh, the excitement around the game seems to have no end. You're kidding me. Don't tell me this is gonna be a brand new, like, dawn in how much hype I, I'm, I'm able to, uh, pump up around a game. Okay, so, uh, Weasley Wong, um, as you can see there, W-E-A-S-L-E-Y, Weasley, you know, because I'm saying that right. Um... <laughs> You need to improve on pretty much everything because you're uh, an all-rounder. Let's pump up your technology for now. Um, and Johnson, we can do the same for you. Pump up your technology. And uh, I will uh, I'll also do some training because, uh, you know, spare no expense. I can't, uh, I can't, I can't just, just, you know, I have to be thorough. I have to be good. I have to be... Uh, competent. I'm the leader. I should, uh, I should know plenty. Uh, game report, post-release analysis, engine seems to be quite important for this type of game, platform genre match, uh, is good, audience match, good. Uh, okay, that's not bad. Uh, Angela, despite the fact that you are indeed just a pathetic excuse for an employee, I'm going to keep you on because, um, you're not really doing a whole lot for the games that I develop. Uh, let's just... Let's really double down on your speed and then pump you up on design. Let's not focus on technology. We will, will, you'll, you, Angela, will be the backup, um, design expert. But it's going to take a while to, uh, get you up to speed on that. So, don't repeat yourself. Speed upgrade. Um, and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and train Hoffman over here to improve his research. Uh, you're going to be our research expert, I suppose. Uh, go ahead and just let everybody tick through their uh, training here. Okay, there we go. Wong is done. Darfson is done. Johnson and Swanson. Swanson and Johnson. Johnson and Swanson. <laughs> I never noticed that until just now. And I'm done. So uh, let's do some contract work for... Uh, Oh, I don't think it really matters. More than half of the office is uh, going to be working on this contract work. Uh, contract work is done. Just keep on hiring through the contract work. Uh, Mad Mad Melee is off the market. 3.5 million units, generating 38.7 million in sales. So, tons and tons of cash. Um, okay. Successful. Let's get a little bit more contract work in before I send everybody off on vacation. Um, hopefully, I'll, I'll wait until Hoffman is, uh, finished with his, uh, and then we'll take up that final contract and hope that... We'll hope that we can get this done. I seriously doubt that this is going to work. I think that I'm going to be paying that 128,000 penalty, uh, but I can give it a shot. Um, yeah, that's dwindling super, super fast. Um, we, yeah, we are not going to hit that at all. We're not even halfway. Jeez. I think it's because most of our guys aren't just, they're not fast enough. Um, okay, well, that's, that's not optimal. Boss, we would like to stage an internal coding contest. I think we could all learn a lot by doing this. As an incentive, we would need a prize for the winner. 90,000. We agreed that the prize will go to charity. Should we do it? 
Uh, sure. Uh, we'll start right away. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Oh, well, you know what? I think that this is completely worth my time. This is weird. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Uh, Hoffman there, getting off to a bad start. Um, we're not gonna go to the games convention, nothing to show off at the convention. Uh, some of you have gone off about how I should go to the games convention even when I don't have a game, and uh, that just makes zero, 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 zero sense to me, so it's not something that I'm about to do. Uh, we're gonna have to go on to a major mass exodus. The entire office is gonna go off on another vacation. Uh, where exactly we're gonna head off to, I don't know. Naturally, I finished first. I came in first. Number one! Uh, Angela, uh, I will send you on vacation. I will just send myself through a little bit of training while the others work. Uh, because I don't... I mean, there's nothing that I can do to earn extra money right now. Uh, we're just kind of... Uh, we're living off of the $260 million we have in the bank. Which, admittedly, that's a pretty large amount of money. Um, game Dev Gems to get myself above 500 and then um, we'll switch over for other stuff go on vacation. I really wish I knew where they all, all went. Uh, thanks for agreeing to the coding contest. It was a big success. Will won the contest and is lucky to distribute the prize of 90k to charity. We have also learned a lot in the process, which, you know, is important. Okay, so I'm just about finished there. Okay, I'll open the um, menu here. Let's develop a new game. I don't know what exactly I'm going to go for. Um, let us pick a topic first. What type of a topic do we want to do? Uh, time travel. Let's do time travel. I haven't done time travel yet, so next up is the genre. Let's make this an RPG. An RPG targeted at everyone. It's going to be a large game. A time travel RPG. Uh, what do we want to lead this on? Let's, uh, well, we're going to have to acquire licenses for um, the Mbox and the, the, the PS4 all over again, so we might as well drop the money down and just acquire those license all in one go. So uh, this is going to be an, this is going to be the flagship for the new uh, ser uh, for the new generation. Uh, we're going to do it on the PS4, the Mbox One and the PC. Um, I'm doing the PS4 because I think that it's going to do a whole lot better for the everyone market than uh, the One or the PC ever will. So uh, this is going to be on the Surreal Engine and what do we want to call this? We'll call it Split Streams, there we go, because, I don't know, I mean, it, if you guys have ever watched any sci-fi, there's usually something in the lines of, whenever time travel happens, you have to travel through some sort of a wormhole, and that kind of looks like a, a stream or a hole through time that you're slipping through, so Split Streams, it's like a time play thing, I don't know. Um, Maybe that's not the best title of all, but let's uh, let's go forward from there. Uh, 3D Graphics V4 for 351K. I am dump dumping so much cash into this right off the bat. Um, naturally going to have to do a big marketing campaign for it. Um, oh my god, wow. Industry news. A company by the name of Rise VR has developed a virtual reality headset, which promises to finally start the path towards true 3D immersion. Uh, we can only hope that that's the real case with the Oculus Rift in the real world, but, um, I'm still, I'm still waiting for them to do, you know, do the commercial release. Uh, anyway, the new headset called Visorius looks like a pair of giant ski goggles and provides a large field of vision as well as near-perfect motion tracking. A first test left some players feeling a little motion sick, but with the right game, this technology can surely deliver a new level of immersion. Um... This is very interesting. Cool. I suppose that's going to be a, um, virtual reality is going to be something that's, you know, like a, a technology that you can develop for your engine, because uh, that's not a platform unto itself. Okay, so, um, following the notes that I have here, let's, uh, knock story and quests all the way up, engine all the way down, gameplay is mid, um, story and quests being the most important element, uh, we'll turn those on, uh, gameplay is where we're gonna have to start making cuts, we either keep the cheap ones, or we keep... We can turn up gameplay a tiny bit to regain some stuff there. Uh, mod support, basic physics is the big one that we want to take out, and we can turn engine up just a weensy little bit, and uh, get away with everything being nice and even. So, uh, Wendy, like always, is our tech expert on engine. Uh, I'll do gameplay, Drew can handle story and quests. Um, you know what? I'm going to save myself for the second phase, and I'm going to put Johnson on gameplay. So, uh, let's go forward from there. Uh, new research, virtuous support. So, uh, there we go. We're just going to go ahead and develop this away. Skip to the next phase. Ooh, okay, here we go. Development stage two. Massive, um, I mean, 
Jeez, nearly 40 bucks already. Okay, so, uh, like always, RPG, I know what I'm doing here. Level design is mid, dialogues are high, AI is low. Um, try to turn that up just so better uh, artificial intelligence is good. Uh, we want to do all of this. Uh, dialogues are all on. Uh, Johnson does not need to be on dialogues. Um, I will do dialogues for this phase. Uh, as always, Wendy is on AI. And um, Wong is on level design. Yeah, that would be the first thing for him to do. So, uh, level design, let's just give it to Wong. And uh, Angela and Christian are going to be uh, nose to the grindstone next phase. Jeez, that would suffer a whole lot. Okay, just forward from there. I feel like I'm not really doing anything new or different here because I know exactly what I'm doing at this point. Um, for that matter, I need to go back and um, figure out how much I've done. Hmm. Uh, just over the halfway point, not at 106 hype already, jeez. Uh, let's uh, get into a marketing campaign all the way down at the end. Large one for two million. I've got so much in the bank, I'm not really concerned about crashing and burning. Um, with how much it's cost, it's, I mean, it's like, what, uh, six or eight million to develop a game, uh, a large game at this point, and with how much I've got in the bank, I could totally botch so much. I'm just gonna go for this being the way that it's supposed to be done. Um, surround sound, let's go for stereo sound and soundtrack, maybe? Okay, yeah, there's, there's gotta be some, some given, uh, some given some take here, so, how far can I knock this down? Okay. Um, what this really comes down to is that I don't want to take anything away from this. Okay, so, uh, world design, uh, Christian, you are, well, no, no, wait, um, Angela will handle world design for us on this stage, um, Christian, you can handle sound, and, um, can Wong handle this? How about Wendy, can you handle that? Oh my god, Wendy can handle that. Um, graphics, however, is a design aspect, so maybe I should give it to... No, Johnson can't handle it. Can Christian handle it? Oh my god, Christian can one-hand this entire thing. Um, not doing too bad there. Uh, <laughs> go forward, I've got everything the way that I want it. Uh, ooh, media inquiry. This is Arnie Colonel from Electric Games. I got Word Strife Games. Information on your current project? Uh, sure. What deci decision is going to making a game? Uh, time travel RPG? <sighs> Such a game would usually receive more focus on gameplay or artificial intelligence. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna. F I focused on gameplay more. I don't know. I mean, it's something that I just did, but at the same time, I can't remember for the life of me. Um, in a recent interview, geez, that was a really fast turnaround for the uh, interview. Uh, gameplay is of particular importance for such a game. It seems that our other industry professionals agree. I know what I'm doing here. No questions about that. Uh, Boss, a small number of our dedicated fans have asked that we release our source code for one of our older game engines, Last Stand. Um, that's odd. They, people were asking for the game code of the New Age engine before the Last Stand, and the Last Stand came before the New Age, so, uh, like always, I'm just gonna give it away because that's, uh, that's just, you know, good PR. So, uh, old engine, our boss... Our recent decision to give away our engine from Last Stand was met with outstanding response from fans. We gained 40,000, but it, and it only cost us 3.2 million, uh, 3.2 thousand. So, uh, not bad, and it's not like it took that straight out of the coffers either. So, um, almost finished with phase three of, uh, game development here. I'm not gonna be too surprised if I'm gonna get a, a, a notice for, um, the next, uh, piece of work, uh, something. I can't remember. Um... Just let these bugs iron out. 238, I'm watching the hype close. Uh, okay, we are done. Whoo-wee. Okay, so, uh, I did get the screen for the games convention, unfortunately. You know, that's just, uh, poor timing on my part that it happened the way that it did. Uh, so, uh, with this done, I'm gonna just launch straight in and I'm gonna have guy, uh, a bunch of us... A bunch of the guys do a whole bunch of research, um on new topics and whatnot so that I can make new and different games. Uh, go ahead and release that game. Uh, salary increase due to an increase. Johnson is now earning 64,000 a month. Uh, Hoffman is now earning 45. Um, dynamic world and 3D graphics v5. Oh, holy crap. Okay. Ooh, hey, game reviews are in. Okay, we'll call it after we get these reviews, guys. Let's see what I'm gonna get. Um, I'll be amazed if I get, wow, a 10. That, ha. I'm quite surprised. Nine, great game, informed gamer. Um, 
10 best of its kind game hero. That's that's quite a surprise actually. Um 9 outstanding game. So I got a 9.5 on this. Jeez, that's a pretty freaking awesome score. Um, okay guys, so, uh, that's it for this episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Be certain to leave comments and whatnot, uh, you know, what you think I'm doing, because I know that I'm doing pretty well, uh, I have been reading the comments, and I know that a lot of you are upset that I'm not taking enough risks, and I'm, I'm playing too safe of a game, so, uh, I know that I'm drawing close to the end of Game Dev Tycoon, and, uh, you know, it's story-based. Uh, function, which is what I'm playing through right here. So I'm going to try to take more uh, more risks in the upcoming episodes, but we'll see how that works out. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!